Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here, as you guys can see up on the screen. Today, we're going to be talking about Mullen Automotive Incorporated. This is ticker symbol M-U-L-N. And man, today was a rough, 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 rough day for Mullen Automotive. This thing was down 10% uh, and down another 1.39% after hours. I mean, this day just started off bad. Uh, right at the open, we were already down a significant amount, and then we just kind of went lower and lower and lower um, before we had this major drop-off later in the day um, to bring us down to where we ultimately closed at after a little tiny bounce back, I guess, um, of $2.16. Now, yes, the the broader market did not do great today. You know, the Dow Jones down 0.3, uh, S&P down 0.12, NASDAQ down 0.21, and the Russell was down almost a full percent, right around a full percent. Um, so everywhere, there was a lot of red in the market. A lot of things were down, uh, but man, nothing was down close to 10%. Mullen way, way, way uh, underperformed all the major indices. So overall, this was a pretty rough day and, and overall probably not a great sign for Mullen in the short term. Uh, but we'll be going over all the latest for Mullen Automotive, uh, everything that's going on surrounding this company and this stock right now in the market. So definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy that. I would appreciate it so, so much. Subscribe to up to date on all my latest content. Uh, and of course, as always, there's not going to be any financial advice in this video. I'm not telling you guys to buy anything. I'm not telling you guys to sell anything. Uh, just giving some of my thoughts and opinions on the latest. With that being said, let's get right into this one. Uh, even though it was a tough day for Mullen, we still have lots to talk about. We have this from Investor Place. They said, uh, you know, Mullen Automotive is more likely to see downside than a short squeeze, which I think is kind of interesting because there is really two sides of the whole thing. There's like one, you know, is Mullen undervalued? Is it overvalued? Is it about to shoot up because it deserves to because of its, um, you know, fundamentals or potential or, or whatever as a business? Or is it going to go down? And then is it going to short squeeze? Is the price artificially being held down by short sellers and all this stuff going on? Or is it not? And it's about to just go down, you know, organically. Um, you know, those are kind of two different uh, points of view here. So obviously they're on the side of, you know, not going to short squeeze and probably overvalued. Kind of interesting. They do say that given the high volatility, Mullen has been a haven for traders. Uh, of course, one needs to be on the right side of the trade to benefit from this high beta pick. So where is Mullen headed in the near term? With a short interest uh, as a percentage of free float at 15.92%, it seems that the bear sentiment will prevail. However, there can also be a case for a short squeeze given the fundamental uh, developments. I would assign a higher probability of downside than another big rally from current levels, at least says, um, you know, this guy, uh, the author of this article on Investor Place. Uh, he said in February, Mullen stock traded at lows of 52 cents. However, the, re the reversal rally was sharp and the stock trading surged to 330 in a few weeks. The rally was triggered by two factors. First, Mullen had announced uh, that it's on track to meet its 2022 operational goals. And furthermore, Mullen also claimed positive results from solid state battery testing. So, you know, a lot of good news. They got the thing flying high, kind of burned some shorts and stuff. Um, but hey, this article at least is saying that it's of their opinion that we are not going to see a further short squeeze. You know, obviously no one knows if we have further good news coming out in the future. Not everyone's going to say, hey, but we have that Fortune 500 company that's going to be announced soon within the next couple of months, hopefully. But nobody knows if and when that's going to happen. Nobody knows what the specifics of that deal are going to be. Nobody knows who the company is. So we don't know how good or bad it's going to be or how the market's going to react. Um, so for the meantime, you know, with the assumptions that this guy is operating under, he thinks the stock is going lower. And uh, hey, I mean, I, he said this yesterday. And as of today, you know, this prediction isn't looking so bad. Now, who knows what it's going to do the next couple of weeks, next couple of months. But, you know, so far, so good for that guy mulling down 10%. We also had people talking about this Kamau and Mullen, um, you know, kind of partnership or whatever. And this guy said, just a thought, why would a company with an annual revenue of $4.2 billion put Mullen on its homepage? Uh, and then they linked to the Kamau homepage where, yes, you can see Kamau and Mullen Automotive team up for full scale automotive body assembly. And you will see a Mullen vehicle uh, on the Kamau website. And yes, Kamau, uh, obviously, it seems like a company that is, you know, doing in the billions uh, in revenue. And and yes, we, we talked about yesterday in the video um, how, I think I have it right here, how yes, in February of 2022, it was announced that Kamau is going to help Mullen expand production. California Electric uh, startup Mullen is working with Italian automation specialist Kamau, part of the Stellantis group, to expand its body assembly uh, plant in the United States, uh, in the U.S. state of Mississippi. We also have the fact that Kamau, uh, its parent company is Stellantis, like we said over here, but we also had that Amazon was going to be buying thousands of electric vans from Stellantis. And that has a lot of people thinking that, hey, Mullen and Kamau, 
uh, Stellantis and Amazon, maybe Mullen and Amazon coming together. And I know that is something we talked about yesterday, but I didn't know about this. You know, I didn't know about the Kamau uh, website and homepage and stuff, having the Mullen vehicle featured on that, how they talk about, um, you know, their team up for the full scale uh, body assembly and all this. I think it's really cool. Uh, it's also Mullen, you know, getting uh, kind of displayed uh, to hopefully more and more people. I think overall it's a good thing. It's a cool thing. Uh, and hopefully it adds some legitimacy to what Mullen has going on. You know, if Kamau is a well-respected company, brand, manufacturer, whatever, and they're teaming up, maybe that should give some credence to the whole project. Maybe that should, you know, help ease some of people's worries and doubts and all that stuff. But who knows? We have this guy on the Mullen stock subreddit or the Mullen subreddit saying, didn't Hindenburg report say that Tunica didn't exist for Mullen? Maybe this is why David, David Mishri, the CEO of Mullen is trying to say, we are here and there's no need to put uh, energy in a scam article. It is just smoke and mirrors from their side, not ours. And then this guy replies, uh, it didn't say Tunica didn't exist. Always check and quote from what the original source states. And then somebody said, you are right. It said Mullen's plant in Tunica, Mississippi was previously tooled to build a pizza delivery car, but prior owners never made managed to sell a single vehicle. Um, so again, you know, we talked about the David Mishri tweet yesterday where he tweeted a picture of the Mullen vehicle in Tunica, you know, showing it off and saying how cool it is and how they produce it and all that stuff. Uh, and I know people were wanting him to talk about, yeah, the short reporter wanted him to talk about the Fortune 500 deal or why he's selling shares and all that stuff. And like this guy says, maybe that was him at least in part or tongue in cheek responding to that short report. If they're talking about how, uh, you know, the previous people uh, were not able to managing to sell a single vehicle out of, um, you know, the, the Tunica, Mississippi plant that Mullen has now taken over. Well, maybe that's David Mishri saying, Hey, well, look at this. You know, we created this, we made this, we are actually doing stuff here. Um, maybe it's just a coincidence, but, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. This is at least, you know, kind of a tinfoil hat theory. Maybe, um, I like this post as well. It said just something we used to say over in popcorn when in doubt zoom out. And yes, Today was a horrible, horrible day for Mullen stock, down 10%. But just like he said, when you zoom out to one month, we are still up 35% in the past month with Mullen stock. Um, so yes, yeah, so this thing was $1.60. Um, if you zoom out a little bit further, you know, obviously you can take it from like the 52 week lows and hey, we're up 254% in the last two months. But, you know, just like he says, zoom out. Hey, start zooming out too much. And we're down 71.35% in the past six months. We are down 78.72% in the past year. We're down 62.82% year to date. So, uh, hey, depending on how much or how little you're zooming out, it could be really bad. It could be really good. You know, you can make the graph tell whatever story you want it to tell. Um, so I like the idea of, hey, zooming out and saying that the last month has been pretty good, but still, if you zoom out too far, uh, things are not looking so great for Mullen stock. So just wanted to make sure you're aware of that as well. Um, one thing is for sure, the hedge funds hate this stock with a passion. That I can say this uh, post from Reddit. Um, this guy posted new Ortex data for uh, HYMC, MMAT, Mullen, and Prague. And he says, um, shares available to borrow according to Fintel. Mullen, 250K um, and 750K have been borrowed since closing. Um, so, you know, this is obviously a lot of short action going on with Mullen right now. And yes, you know him saying, that the hedge funds hate this stock. They're trying to short it. They're trying to push it down, all of this stuff. And that adds to, you know, some of the short squeeze potential that some people are talking about. Who knows? We'll have to see, uh, you know, what happens over the next couple of weeks. And then this guy saying, do not give any dates. Looking at the recent price action today, a lot of people were hoping for big moves and uh, those big chunk of options to go in the money, but they will be very disappointed. Obviously, um, this is another thing to keep in mind that one, uh, tomorrow is Good Friday, so the stock market is closed, meaning that options contracts settled today, but also meaning we have a three-day weekend. People don't love to hold super volatile stocks like Mullen over a three-day weekend, um, especially when the market has been as rocky and as negative overall as it has been recently. So maybe that could have something to do with what's going on. But then also, since a lot of option contracts settled today, you know, if shorts are you know artificially keeping the price down, or if they are trying to you know screw people over or whatever, it could make sense on a day at the end of the week to you know push people's options out of the money to uh, you know not make sure they get their hands on, on that extra money or those extra shares or whatever. Um, so that's something to keep his mind in mind as well. Um, that yes, you know, putting prices and putting dates and stuff in the short term is very, very tough. Cause yes, you can always get a 10% down day like today. Um, and that's just going to really burn you. But, uh, yeah, you know, that doesn't change anything for Mullen in the long term, obviously. But if you were in, you know, if you're doing like weeklies or something, then you might've got really screwed today. But that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about MULN. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, stay up to date on all my latest content. Hope we catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.
Peace.